Well, in the wake of the Las Vegas tragedy, one Detroit City Councilwoman is pushing to restrict guns in certain Detroit hotels. Certainly a tall order. Rod Maloney has the details of the proposal that was just introduced today. Rod? You know, it's still two days since the shooting in Las Vegas, but this country is still grieving in mourning, very upset, and there's a lot of anxiety about what can be done. Is there anything that can be done? There's one city council member here in the city of Detroit that's decided enough is enough. City Council Member Janae Ayers made her point today at City Council. When leadership matters, that's when leadership has to happen. And that's what I'm attempting to do right now. It doesn't mean that there won't be hurdles. It doesn't mean that I don't understand what municipal government can do, but we can always be creative and find a start. She's asked the city law and legislative policy departments to advise her on an ordinance that would restrict or monitor rifles and semi-automatic firearms at Detroit's hotels that face or are adjacent to public venues via registering the weapons upon check-in. Across the street from City Hall is the Marriott Rensen Hotel. From the upper floors, Hart Plaza could just as well be the Mandalay Bay concert venue. And just up the street, the same could be said of the new Crown Plaza Hotel near Cobo. The law department supplied her with a number of state and national gun laws, essentially telling her there really isn't much room for her to make something happen in this, but she feels compelled to try and do something. I thought about Sandy Hook, and I thought about Orlando, and I thought about South Carolina, and I thought about Columbine, and I thought about the Aurora movie uh, theater shooting. Those are too many things that we are thinking about that happen, and it shouldn't be where massacres and mass shootings are commonplace. Now, she admits that she's had a lot of heat from a lot of people. This did get out, and she's had a lot of questions asked of her about this situation. But she says, look, this is a reaction, and it's a reaction that she feels compelled to make. And more than that, she says, it's a good place to at least start a conversation. And that's where she is. Back to you. So, Rod, what's, what happens now? What's next for the proposal? Well, you know, it goes through the legislative process, so she gets her opinion from the law department and, uh, and from the legislative policy department, and then they decide maybe to take it com to committee and have the conversation start there. Whether it actually gets to council, whether there's an ordinance that actually gets to a vote, we'll have to wait and see. Probably not likely to happen before the end of the year. Indeed, a tall order, but we know you'll keep us posted, Rod. We appreciate it. And our coverage of the tragedy in Las Vegas continues both on air and online at clickondetroit.com. There you can learn about the victims in the shooting. Just click on the link right there on the homepage.